All right, all right. So your girl is back um, on Saturday, which was Christmas Day. I was speaking with um, the ladies of my family, and we were talking about um, shodo, eggnog, and I brought up coquito. So Rosemary never heard of coquito before, but that's what they do here in the VI, um, which is more of a <clears throat> Spanish or Hispanic um, cultural thing. So I'm not going to say mine is traditional because I'm not I'm Hispanic or Spanish. So, um, but this is the way that I do my, I told her I would do a video of the coquito, the way I do it, just for her. Uh, Rosemary, if you were here, I would definitely ask you to do a tutorial on the chicken nuggets you used to make me when I was a child. And guys, it's not a regular chicken nugget. It's not like a McDonald's chicken nugget. It's like real meat, first of all, real chicken breast, <laughs> first and foremost. And she would make it in like a rich gravy and it tasted really 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 good um, as I think about that I think about when um, I spent a summer in Dominica and she was making it for me and they sent me in the yard to get pepper this particular pepper was bottom a jack which means Miss Jack's derriere Right, this particular pepper is extremely hot. The girl went in the yard, she picked up the pepper, she came back inside, and she put them down, and then did one of these, and my face was on F-Y-A-H, fire, not F-I-R-E. That thing burnt, I mean, <laughs> it was crazy. It burnt a lot. But anyway, let me get back into the coquito it's very simple um, and we're gonna knock this out real quick here's a quick view of the ingredients I'm going to put a picture because I know all the words are backwards because I'm using the front face and camera so the words are backwards on the cans All right, so like I said, really simple. We're just going to throw in everything pretty much. So one can of evaporated milk. One can of coconut milk. I didn't shake that very well, did I? Cream of coconut. Oop, oopsie. And your condensed milk. a cup of cinnamon not a half a cup sorry a half a teaspoon <laughs> what am I talking about quarter teaspoon of nutmeg I just want to show you guys that this nutmeg costs 15 99 quarter teaspoon that was a quarter teaspoon of And 
Bacardi. Uh, whatever white rum that you have. We're going to add a half cup of that. Just gonna blend it. Yep, and that is pretty much it. So I normally buy from a young lady that I used to work with. I still buy from her, but I buy the flavors from her like this year. I bought her cookies and cream flavor. I'm going to show you the bottle. It's called Cantankeras Coquito. Tastes really good. And that flavor that I bought from her was cookies and cream so what i'm gonna do now is just pour it in the bottle so if you were paying attention you notice i left out an ingredient and that was the vanilla extract so i'm going to add that now it's actually one teaspoon of vanilla extract i'm gonna add it to the remainder of the coquito and then I'm gonna mix what I bottled back in there so that you know <laughs> I can share the wealth Okay, so now I'm just gonna pour it back in here. I'm gonna do it over the sink. All right, all right. So this is this was my take on coquito. Um, the next step is just to put it to chill and then enjoy. But um, this is like like I keep saying, it's a very simple recipe. So no need to panic or have a heart attack. Some people put egg and cloves and stuff in there. I don't do all of that. That's why I told y'all. I won't say this is traditional because it's probably not, you know. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I should have a guest today coming by to do a salmon ball tutorial. So you guys could look out for that pretty soon. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And have a blessed day. Also let me know if you tried this recipe and how it went okay thank you bye